Hey folks, in this video we're going to be learning how to move multiple files in Google Drive using Google Apps Script. As a follow-up to my previous video where I showed you how to move one file to a destination folder, now we're going to do multiple files. So my example is going to have a text document, a spreadsheet, and a slide deck that exist in my main drive folder. I am going to want to move them to this destination folder here. And the way that I'm going to do that is with Google Apps Script. I'm going to be using an unbound Google Apps Script. Uh, if you have a file open, like your spreadsheet or your doc or your deck or what have you, and you want to use Apps Script there, that's totally fine too. Once you have your materials, we're going to begin. I'm going to navigate up to the new menu in the upper left-hand corner. And then I'm going to go to the More section, and then I'm going to select Google Apps Script. If you work in an organization, this warning is just saying to you that if anybody else has access to your folder, they will be able to edit and, um, and execute your script file. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you think about how you want to implement this code. Uh, We'll title our project moving multiple files. Uh, you can call it whatever you want to. I am going to begin by writing out function, main, empty parentheses. We have no inputs. This function is merely for uh, compilation. We're going to have uh, curly brackets. And we're going to begin by establishing the folder where we want to move the files. We're going to declare a variable called folder and we're going to set it to triveapp.getfolderbyid. Uh, we need to pass a string to this getfolderbyid method. So you're going to use single quotes or double quotes. It doesn't matter. You're going to go to uh, your drive and you're going to select your destination folder. And then you're going to copy the ID of the folder, which comes after folders backslash. You're going to copy it, paste it into the get folder by ID in between your single or double quotes, and you're going to add a semicolon at the end. Next, we're going to create an array of files to be moved. We're going to declare a variable called array. And we're going to equal, set it to uh, two square brackets. So what we're going to do now is uh, collect the IDs from the files that we want to move. There's a couple ways that you can do this. I'm going to hard code it. You could also use uh, variables to establish these IDs. It's really whatever you want to. Uh, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I want you to see the structure of the array. Uh, so that when you want to do this on your own, you can kind of build off and get more creative if you want to. So we're going to begin by using single quotes or double quotes. It doesn't matter which one, but what I would recommend is stay consistent within your file. So you can see up here I use single quotes, so I'm going to continue to use single quotes. Uh, I'm going to begin by going to file one. You can see in a Google document, there is a file ID, which is just after the document backslash D backslash and then we have our ID right before edit. So we're going to copy that and we're going to go back to our script file and we're going to paste it in between our single quotes. We're going to add a comma. So you want your array to be comma separated. We're going to do another single quote and I'm going to go to my second file. You can see it has the exact same URL construction up here where we're going to copy this ID. We're going to go back to our script file. We're going to paste it in there. We're going to add another comma. Remember, this is comma separated. And what I'm going to do to just make this a little bit easier to read is I am going to put them on separate lines like this. Okay, You can do that if you want to. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to add a comment that just says file 2, file 1. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to do single quotes. We're going to go to our third file. You can see the exact same URL construction. I'm going to copy that ID 
and we're going to paste it in there. And then I'm going to add a comment for file three. You don't have to do this, right? Comments are for readability and so that you allow yourself or your collaborators to have a sense of what's going on in your code. Uh, so now we are going to loop through the array. We're going to use a for loop. We're going to use open parentheses. I'm going to use a variable of i. You can use whatever you want to. We're going to say i in array. We're going to do a space after the parentheses. We're going to do a curly bracket. We're going to hit enter. We're going to type drive app dot get file by ID. We're going to have an open parentheses. We're going to reference our array. And we're going to do square brackets and we're going to use I. We're going to say move to and then we are going to reference our folder variable. Now, before we run this, uh, I just want to note that um, array, like when you start typing array, right, if you use a capital A, it's going to be a native function for uh, app script. So just be careful about that if you are using the array variable that I constructed here. Uh, you don't want to conflate the code. That's, that's a bad, a, 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 an oversight on my part, I should have used a different variable name there. It's fine, this will compile. Uh, but in, in your use case, you might want to just call it file array or something like that, something to not make it the same as the other thing. What's happening in our for loop here is it's going to iterate through each of the uh, array um, items. So in addition to this, this movement here, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing it so that you can see it. I'm going to use logger.log, and I'm going to log array iterator just so that you can kind of see how this works. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is saving, save my project. You can see my function is up there. I'm going to hit run, and then it's going to require permissions uh, because it needs to be able to create, read, update, and delete uh, from the Google Drive. Um, so you're just going to be allowing access to the application that we just wrote. So uh, you're going to review the permissions. You're going to select your email address. You're going to go to advanced. And you're going to select the name of your project here. All this is saying is just that Google hasn't verified the app. It's perfectly safe. You're going to select allow. And what you'll see logging here is each item in the array. Right, so that's what a for loop does here. Is it's merely just saying drive app dot get file ID one, two, three. It's just looping through that array. And when we go to our destination folder and we hit refresh, you'll see that now all three files exist within the destination folder, and they no longer. Uh, let's refresh our, our drive they no longer exist in my primary drive folder. So what we learned how to do here was uh, send multiple files to a folder on our Google Drive. Uh, like I said, this is the second video in my Automating Google Drive series. So if you're interested in learning more, please check out the playlist associated with this video. Uh, if you want to learn more about automating data work and documents and decks and all that type of stuff in, in Google Drive. I have plenty of videos on my channel that I hope you'll check out. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you'll uh, check out the next one.